Oh, what's going on guys? HK Titan here with a brand new video for you guys, but first things first, as always, so hope you guys are having an amazing day. For today's video, we are going to be jumping into episode 25 of our Balloon Star Defense 6 Let's Play. And for today's episode, we are going to be jumping back into Resort. But before we jump into the actual uh, Let's Play itself, there is something that we need to do first. This is going to set us back a little bit of monkey money, but it is for something very, very special. And you guys are going to see what that is here in just one second. So the first thing that we need to do is that we need to buy Quincy's wolf skin. And the reason why we need to do this is, is in order to trigger the special event. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and buy our Quincy wolf skin. And then we're, then we're going to go ahead and jump into resort here in just one second. All right, guys, so it's no surprise that the balloon and myself have been working together more and more over the past couple of weeks, but we've also been working on a couple of different ideas because our goal as content creators is, of course, to provide you guys with content that we know you guys will enjoy watching. So a big pr project that the balloon and myself have been working on is getting in contact with the voice actors of Balloons Tower Defense 6. And lo and behold, guys, we finally got in contact with, with one, and it just so happens to be... We got in contact with my favorite character in Blue Star Defense 6, and that character is, of course, Quincy. And what this what this guy did is he provided not only myself, but also the balloon with a custom voice line, which you guys are going to see here in just one second. So once I place down Quincy here in just a second, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and show, show you guys what that voice line is. So we finally have our own Blue Star Defense 6 voice line. So just one second, guys, here in just one second, I'm, uh, I just need to get the money to pay for Quincy. And here we go, guys. We almost have enough money to place down Quincy and wait for it. I am Quincy of Pack Quincy. Titan, get ready to hunt. But anyways, guys, isn't that crazy? It sounds so good and so clean. I can't believe that the voice actor for Quincy actually hook, hook, hooked me up with this. This is probably one of the nicest things that somebody has done for me in a very, very long time. So a massive shout out to Xu Yang Chen, uh, the voice actor for Quincy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description below for his in Instagram account. Make sure you guys show him as much love as he's shown show me. Go drop him a follow and show him some love he is an absolutely amazing guy he's very very nice and i think you guys would really enjoy the stuff that he has going on over there so again guys make sure you guys hit that link in the description below and go drop him a follow i think he's currently sitting around 300 followers on instagram i would love to see if we could get him to a thousand followers probably in like a week or two weeks that would be so amazing guys you wouldn't only be helping me out but you would also be showing some support to quincy son of quincy so make sure you guys go hit that follow button over there again again guys i can't thank shishu and chin enough he this is so amazing but anyways guys enough of that let's just go ahead and jump into the actual let let's play so for the actual let's us play uh i didn't cover what we're going to be doing today but as you guys could pro pro probably tell we're doing a uh, medium mode a apocalypse mode and we are also going to be doing hard standard mode so for the apocalypse mode we did end up eating a couple lives because we had that little bit of a surprise i, I ended up waiting just a little bit longer than i should have to place down quincy but it's not that big a deal because of course we have our monkey knowledge and we have more than enough popping power the next thing that i ended up going for once we uh grabbed our ninja monkey we upgraded him to a two zero one and then i placed quincy down of course and then following that i upgraded my ninja, ninja monkey up to a tier three and then i went ahead and grabbed our alchemist now at, at this current point point in time what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be grabbing a monkey ace the reason why i want to go for the monkey ace is because once we get our monkey ace equipped with not only the monkey village but we also throw a alchemist on top of it our strategy here is going to be pretty much uh unstoppable because the monkey ace is such a good tower but anyways, guys, if you guys are enjoying this Let's Play so, so far and you guys would like to see more, please feel free to hit that like button. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to subscribe as well. I do upload quite a bit of Balloon Star Defense 6 content. Not only that, but the Balloon and myself also have a lot more in, in the works. So I hope you guys are ex excited for that. But hold on, guys. I'm, we're we're going to go ahead and hear the voice line again here in just a second. So here we go. Let's place down Quincy. I am Quincy of Pack Quincy Titan. Get ready to hunt. Man, I still can't get over how clean that sounds. It sounds so good. Again, guys, make sure you guys go check out his Instagram account and make sure you guys drop it a 
follow because the guy is such a nice dude. But anyways, guys, and now that we have officially beaten Apocalypse Mode, now we're going to move on to Hard Standard Mode. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up the strat just a little bit, and we're going to rely a little bit more on, Quin on Quincy here. So I'm going to end up going straight for a Monkey Ace here. Now, this is a little bit of a risky play because, we, need, again, like I was saying, we need to rely heavily on our Quincy to go ahead and pop a majority of these balloons. So what I'm currently doing is I'm going to be going for our Nevamus right out the gates. Again, this is going to get a little bit sketchy because the Nevamis is a little bit more of an expensive tower. And it's a little bit uh, kind of hit or miss if your Monkey Ace is actually going to be able to help out the Quincy here. So what I ended up doing with the Monkey Ace is I ended up putting it on the figure 8 pattern to hopefully allow it to do a little bit more damage to the balloons as, as they're trying to do the or work their way along around the little square bit and here we are guys round 20 we now have our never miss i ended up going with ra rapid fire just just because i want the monkey ace to do a little bit more damage but now i need to have a little bit more lead popping power here so the next thing that i end up going for is i grab myself an alchemist and i upgrade the alchemist up to acidic mixture dip just to make sure that the monkey ace could pop lead, lead balloons because even though Quincy can deal with uh, the, occasion, the occasional lead balloon, I don't think it's enough to deal with a massive rush of leads. Now, what I'm going for is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be grabbing the Monkey Village. I'm going to be upgrading it to Camo Detection just to give our Monkey AC ability to pop Camo Balloons. Because, of course, uh, relying on Quincy isn't a bad uh, option, but the balloons can get a little bit overwhelming and a little bit hard for him to deal with. So, now that we have our... Uh, Monkey Village upgrade to the Camel Detection. Now we're, we're going to go ahead and upgrade it to Jungle Drums. Not only to increase our Monkey Aces popping power, but I also want to increase our Quincy popping power a little bit as well. So right now, the only thing I'm doing is I'm going to be spending a little bit of money on the Al Alchemist to go ahead and upgrade him to the Tier 4, which is, of course, going to increase our Monkey Aces popping power. Here in just one second, there we go. So now we have it upgrade to a 4-2-0. Now the next thing that I'm going to be doing uh, for the for the next little bit is I'm going to be saving up to buy the Spectre. So I'm going to put this VOD into over Overdrive really quick. That way we don't need to sit, sit here while we're just trying to save up cash. Uh, here we are round 48 and we're halfway there. We just need a little bit more money in order to afford the Spectre. So while we're saving up the money, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support on this series so far. I really appreciate it. Again, if, if, if you guys would like to see the series continued, make sure you guys hit that like button. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to subscribe as well. I do upload quite a bit of Balloon Star Defense 6 content. But anyways, guys, here we are. We now officially have the Spectre. So now that I have the Spectre, I'm going I'm to go ahead and mix things up again. I'm going to end up going for the Prince of darkness here uh once once we have the specter we're pretty much good to go uh the the specter by itself is more than enough to deal with uh, the rest of the of, of the rounds but because i want i want to mix things up a little bit and i want to do a little bit of testing i'm gonna end up going with the prince of darkness here now my now my goal here was to see what would be the best position to put the prince of darkness to where he would be most effective now, I tried to go with this position here with the uh, wizard monkey, but I feel like this is nowhere close to the op optimal position where we can actually put the wizard monkey. So probably over the next uh, couple of let's plays, I'm probably going to end up uh, messing around with his position to see if we can actually get a perfect position, set him down to where he's going to be most effective. Now, what I want is I want the uh, prince of darkness or the net necromancer unpop our army to basically send his balloons around that square because that's going to allow our prince of darkness to do an absolute butt ton of damage to all of the balloons especially like the uh zero mgs and the bad balloons the only issue of having the uh prince of darkness so far back is that he is going to eat up a lot of his uh undead army before the zero mg and the baboon act actually make it to the little square bit all right we almost have enough money for the prince of darkness and here we go now we have the prince of darkness the only good part about having the prince of Dar darkness so close to the entrance is of, of course uh the rounds are gonna are gonna go by a little bit faster because the prince of darkness uh is pretty much hitting the balloons as soon as they enter the screen 
So now at this at this current current point in time, the only thing I'm, I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be placing down a bunch of engineer monkeys because I would like to have a little bit more experience because I do want to get that overclock unlocked. I think for the next let's play, I'm probably going to end up placing down an engineer monkey right off of the start or maybe i'll come up with an end engineer strat see if we, we can get enough ex or experience on our engineer monkey to go ahead and allow us to upgrade to the century paragon or get enough experience to allow us to unlock the century paragon and thus being able to unlock the overclock but anyways guys that's gonna do it for today's ep episode once again make sure you guys head over to instagram and drop shu yang chin of follow again much love to him for doing this for me i really really appreciate it but anyways guys you know what time it is i hope you guys have the most amazing day of your lives and i will see you guys in the next one